Yo, what's up everyone? My name is Andrew Warren, and in today's video, we have some more positive news to talk about regarding Tesla stock. And so the interesting thing about today's news video is that we have multiple news pieces. One of them is all about Tesla stock itself and some comments from Jim Cramer. And then we have another one, which is about some additional third party support for Tesla's Sentry Mode, which is a security feature. And the news piece about those those details are actually really interesting as well because I'm a big fan of security and sentry mode is obviously a very popular feature for anyone that owns a Tesla especially considering that for some reason Teslas are like more commonly targeted than other vehicles just because I guess you know you have a lot of jealous people unfortunately that's just how it goes sometimes but I know that a lot of people love sentry mode and if I'm ever able to get a Tesla I know that I'm really going to enjoy having that feature because as I said, I'm a big fan of security, and it's just one of those things that is a nice feature that you don't have with pretty much any other vehicle that's not a Tesla. And it's one of those things that would make me a little bit more comfortable with the idea of owning a Tesla, just because, as I said, they are targeted a little bit more, unfortunately. But anyways, we want to start off with the first news piece today, which is all about Jim Cramer and the discussion of Battery Day. So before we get into this, as always, if you do enjoy these Tesla news videos, please make sure to smash that that like button it really does help me out and then also we do need to address the share price before we get into this news so for the normal market hours today we got a plus 1.95 percent gain that's seven dollars and 43 cents added on to the share price and then for the after hours we are currently at plus 1.57 percent and that is plus $6.09 added on to the share price as well. And Tesla is currently at $393.88 per share. And it actually had a rebound today on a day where a lot of us were expecting it to be another pretty far into the red day for Tesla. So all of this is relevant in terms of this news piece that we're about to discuss, which involves Jim Cramer. So let's go ahead and check this article out and then we'll discuss it in depth a little bit more. So as you can see, this is an article by CNBC and author Kevin Stankiewicz. And the article is titled, Kramer Sees Huge Positives on Tesla's Battery Day, Tells Investors to Be Patient on Stock. So I just wanna emphasize this one point before we get into this article, and that is the fact that Jim Cramer has a huge influence in the finance and investing community. Now, I understand that with YouTube nowadays, there's a lot more people like Jeremy from Financial Education, Stephen Mark Ryan, from Solving the Money Problem, Graham Stephan, Andre Jick. Those are some of the newer major financial figures that I think a lot of people my age are watching. But Jim Cramer is still pretty popular across the board. My impression, however, is that people a little bit older tend to watch Jim Cramer just because he is on CNBC. And as we know, a lot of the young people and even older people have transitioned to just watching content on the internet. Whereas nowadays, it's just like, you know, people that watch TV, I think of my my own parents or people that just haven't really transitioned or gotten themselves familiar with the internet lifestyle since there's just so much content on YouTube and other platforms as well. So Jim Cramer definitely has a huge influence. He's a popular figure in the finance community. And I have to admit personally, overall, I actually like Jim Cramer. I know some people don't, but he does have a lot of influence. And I think that's important and relevant to the discussion of this news piece. So just regarding some quotes by Jim Cramer about the most recent battery day event for Tesla, here Here's a direct quote in which he states, I've liked it from $66, but the run up into battery day has to be burned off. And at 380, we're not there yet, the Mad Money host said. Don't give up though, give it some time and we'll get to a level where I'll tell you, you can pounce again. And so I just want to state that this isn't the major point of this news piece that we're discussing today. This is something that I would actually kind of disagree with. That's one thing to keep in mind. I like Jim Cramer, but I don't always agree with him. I honestly think Tesla is just one of those stocks that is a good one to dollar cost average. I think Jim Cramer understands Tesla to an extent, but I think just the market cap and all of those things like that do have some influence in how he feels about the stock. And like he says right here, he believes in waiting until it drops a little bit more. And as I said in yesterday's video, I'm just buying when I see opportunities and when I have the cash and it ended up going back up today. So it's currently at $393.88, whereas Jim Cramer said pretty much to wait even at this $380 price tag and now it is bounced back up. And so that's one of the reasons why I kind of talk about trying to
trying to not time the market and simply just dollar cost averaging. That's all up to personal preference though. But Jim Cramer does note some disappointment with battery day stating that we didn't really hear anything about the million mile battery. And I honestly think Jim Cramer put a lot of emphasis on this million mile battery when it's not really that relevant. I don't think that was the thing that everyone was looking forward to the most, unless we're just talking about a lot of the analysts that really wanted to hear about the million mile battery. But I don't think that's really as important as what was actually announced. And so a quote from Jim Cramer says, if there hadn't been all of this hype about a million mile battery, those would have been huge positives and they were for me. But because expectations were so high, Tesla's battery day was viewed as a disappointment, Kramer said. I think it's rather crazy. There was nothing disappointing about it. So I completely agree with them right here. As I've said, I think some people were looking forward to the million mile battery and there were some expectations around that. But I'm in full agreement with Kramer here when he states he thinks it's pretty crazy and that there was nothing disappointing about battery day. And I think he hits the nail on the head right there in the sense that if you really pay attention to the information announced, it is absolutely game changing. And then the article does discuss the $25,000 Tesla vehicle as well. And Kramer does mention how that would basically be revolutionary for the car industry and especially the EV industry. And so moving on to the point where it starts to talk about that, it states, but if Musk can find a way to sell an electric vehicle at $25,000, the potential upside is massive, Kramer said. He added, it could be as revolutionary as the Model T when Henry Ford built 15 million of them. It was the first time regular people could afford a car. And so I love this statement by Kramer. And like I said, I don't agree with everything he states in this article, but I think this is good news in the sense that Kramer is saying some really important things about Tesla that some people might not be paying attention to, like with how the fact that a $25,000 Tesla EV would be absolutely huge. It just brings that affordability to a lot of people that would otherwise not be able to afford a Tesla. So Kramer does focus on some of the important things about battery day, which of course is them producing their own battery cells and and then also this point right here with the $25,000 Tesla vehicle. And so the article ends with a statement by Kramer saying, Tesla comes out with a plan to build an electric car for the masses and it's greeted with a yawn because Musk didn't roll out a magic battery. That's what happens when the expectations get out of control. Nobody cares about all these new positives. They're just bummed that the things hyped didn't happen. So of course the stock gets crushed. But Kramer added, I love the news even if we don't don't see the results for a couple of years. So I definitely recommend you checking out that article for yourself and also watching the video clip as well. But I think that's really important there to have Jim Cramer himself, a big figure in the finance community, in the investing community, stating that it's kind of ridiculous that we saw such a huge sell-off with Tesla just because there was a lot of hype and expectations around this event. This is kind of a point that I've been reiterating in my past few videos. I haven't really been mentioning like the million mile battery is a big point of hype for this event just because I don't think a million mile battery is as big as people think it is compared to all of the other news such as like with Tesla producing their own battery cells and doing these revolutionary things so I love the fact that Jim Cramer mentions the importance of a $25,000 Tesla EV he also states that this is pretty much an overreaction in the market and that people just simply got too hyped about it and that's why we saw such a sell-off and so I like the fact that he does note that as a little bit crazy and he also says that he basically loves the information announced at this event even though it will take some time so I like the fact that we're seeing some patience emphasized by Jim Cramer so overall a pretty positive outlook on the battery day event from Jim Cramer so I thought that news piece was actually really interesting just because he's a notable figure in the community and because it involves Tesla stock and so moving on to the next news piece for today we have an article by Alexa so let's go ahead and get into this one and then I'll proceed to talk about it a little bit more in detail afterwards. So this is an article from Electric and author Frederick Lambert. So of course, as always, we greatly appreciate this information. If it wasn't for websites like these, then we would not have easy access to valuable information about Tesla as fans and investors. So this article is titled, Tesla Sentry Mode is 
coming to Amazon's ring with new USB hub. And so we see a picture right here. We have some plugins and then we also have the phone app and it says Tesla Model 3 Sentry Mode Video. And so it's basically just an app interface on the phone right there. And so I just want to address a key point of this article so you all can actually check it out for yourself. And so it states that a product called Ring Car Connect is an API for car manufacturers that allows customers to receive mobile alerts for detected events, watch recorded vehicle video footage, and see important vehicle information such as if the car is locked or unlocked, and that Tesla vehicles are the first cars to be integrated. And a direct quote states, the first compatible vehicles for Ring Car Connect are Tesla Models 3, X, S, and Y. Once users install this aftermarket device, they can watch Tesla Sentry Mode and recorded driving footage in the Ring app over Wi-Fi or from anywhere via LTE with an optional connectivity plan. So if you aren't familiar with this, I believe Ring is basically like a home security system where you can install cameras outside of your doorways and then use your mobile app to actually look at the cameras. You can get notifications on your phone whenever those cameras are triggered by motion events. And you can also simply just look at the camera even if there's no motion going on. You can just simply click on the camera and see what's happening outside of your door or wherever you decide to put your camera at. And so now with this news piece, it is stating that this is going to become available with Tesla models, which is absolutely huge because you'll have an app all in one for not only just your home security, but for your Tesla as well. Now, I have to admit, I'm not a Tesla owner, so I don't know if you can actually just look at your Tesla Sentry Mode at any time on your phone or get a notification if someone is tampering with your car. I don't know if it's like that or if it's just something that you can look back on in retrospect if you do notice an issue with your car, like if it's scratched up or something. But regardless, this is still huge in itself in the sense that Ring is very popular and you will have this combo of your home security footage and your car security footage all in one app, all in one platform that you can look at and have easy access to at any point in time. And I honestly think security is a pretty solid physical investment and it gives you that peace of mind that you wouldn't get otherwise. So anyways, I just wanted to share these news pieces with you all today, but please make sure to smash that like button if you all enjoyed this video. And also feel free to sign up to Robinhood and Webull in the description below. If you sign up with my referral link, you'll get some free stocks. And especially with Webull right now, you can get one free stock valued up to $1,600. And all you have to do to get that is sign up with my referral link and deposit $100 into your account. Account. Keep in mind, you can take that $100 right back out after you get your free stock. So just want to let you all know about that, but hope you all enjoyed this video and I hope you have a fantastic rest of your week.